What's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about three heroes. The new one, that guy, quickly talk about him because I want some month for him. Then we are going to talk about Villette and Edith and I'm going to try them both. So first of all about that guy, he looks like Illic on the passive and this can be interesting for PvP only. In PvE don't expect to play him because his damage are just going to suck. We have the coefficient now, 80% on every stage of attack this is just so bad and the extra damage is only 20% of his defense I don't know what they tried to design but that guy is just looking so bad in terms of damage but the passive is really really strong and he's gonna proc the resistance up too on many heroes a, lo a lot of time during the fight so in PvP it has uh, it, it is strong in fact in PvP, especially because if you are using a team such as that one, I'm gonna show that to you in a moment, just have to go to the championship. In this kind of content, it's gonna matter because if you have a look to Bailey, for example, he is using Elik in that team and I know that many players are using that. And so if you are using the other instead of Elik, he is also gonna proc some resistance up 50% on your team and so it's gonna help you so much during the fight instead of Elik because they do the same. In fact, they are both going to protect your highest attacker in the team from taking 3 debuffs per turn. This is really strong. So I think the hero is good only for that, not for the other stuff in his kit. He sucks after this passive. But the resistance up... 50% is really amazing. You can also try to use him in this kind of tanky team and it's gonna help you a lot. 50% more resistance, you will almost never get controlled. Or maybe enemies are gonna remove your resistance up at 50% and then they are gonna control you. I don't know, but it's a solution. It can be interesting to use him in this kind of team, in my opinion. So that hero at least is not useless in all content in the game. He has a utility in PvP. So he's not mandatory. So if you want to summon for him, just do it. But in my opinion, uh, I want summon for him because he is not mandatory to me. So this is Villette after the rework on the basic attack she can apply both wet 2 and speed down 20% to the target this is not a great one but speed down 20% is still useful in some content right uh, on that skill she can cleanse up to three layers of non-control debuffs from all your heroes then heal them and also remove some buffs random buffs from enemies that's a good skill because with the exclusive one she can also grant your heroes block debuff for one turn that's gonna help in many situations uh, then on the passive she's gonna get some Athletus every time she's gonna take a turn up to eight layers and depending on the layers she has she's gonna deal some more damage with the ultimate or bring more stuff to your team for example uh, four layers ripple one to your heroes for two turns or eight layers she's gonna grant ripple two on your heroes for two turns uh, or she's gonna heal a bit more your heroes but you have to take into consideration that in when you are in battle you need to take eight turns with her to get that skill, that buff on your heroes. So if you are fighting in the Weathering Coast, for example, uh, she won't have the Ripple 2 on the eight first turns. And that sucks because she won't increase the damage as you would like her to do. But if you, if you are playing in Dungeon, uh, she won't lose the layers of Aflatus uh, at the wave transition or when she, when she dies. So in fact, in Dungeons, it makes more sense to use her. So she's gonna have the eight layers normally when you reach the boss wave, depending on the number of turns you needed to clear the first two waves. And it might help. If you have a look to the ultimate now, 120% uh, attack damage to all enemies, and then depending on the F letter she has on her, one layer, 40% chance to inflict a wet 2 in AoE, that's great, but it would have been better if it was instead of wet 2, cold 2. Because when you open a wave, enemies are gonna use their skills if they are not silenced. And so they are gonna deal more damage on the ultimate or on the base, on or on this first active skill, sorry. So the basic attack, they will never use that on waves. At the above boss wave, he's gonna always do way more damage on the ultimate and the first active skill, so I don't understand the matter. Why does she apply wet 2 and not cold 2 or not both? Uh, that's a bit stupid in my opinion. 
it makes the hero a bit useless in my opinion. And then we, she has feebleness too and that's gonna help you to deal a bit more damage during the fight and it's better than set on the paper. Because if you can have the 8 Aflatus, uh, she's gonna bring more often Ripple 2 to your heroes and she's also gonna apply Feebleness to two enemies. But Set can also apply Cold 2 and heal your heroes, apply your shield. So it's a great support too and maybe better than her. But she can also inflict a lot of damage to enemies based on her own max HP and on the enemy's max HP. So we are gonna try that and also the damage are gonna increase passively if you have the exclusive 3. So this is my Villet for now. 627k HP, 2261 speed, it can be way better than that of course, and she has 89% effect hit. So let's first have a look to the Weathering Coast and I'm gonna use her in the uh, non-stop fighting buff. Uh, with that team because this is my bleed team and normally I have many heroes to replace that spot I can use set instead. I'm gonna have a good score using set uh, I can replace them by Valentina if, if you have Valentina use her She's gonna be great in that spot if you have a Rister, you can put Rister in there and we are gonna try the difference So this is Villette Let's skip the fight and this is the final score 816 million we are going to retry just in case. 800 million, so it's around 800 millions. Yeah, a bit less. So now we are going to replace her and instead we are going to use set. Just to see if there is a huge difference or not. So, my set is also exclusive 3, I'm gonna uh, run the fight, he can also apply Ripple 2 to my heroes, so they are gonna do more basic attack damage, and they both, Lysander and him, does uh, do a lot of direct damage on the basic attack, bleed damage. So let's check, with set, this is the result, 100 more million damage. So, yeah, 77 million more. Yeah, it's around 100 million more damage using Ted instead of, instead of Villette. And this is only because Villette needs 8 turns before applying Ripple 2 to the team. Only because of that. If she was able to put that directly at the beginning of the fight, of course she would be better than Set to increase your damage against a boss, a Giddle boss. Because you have no wave at all. So now if you replace them, we are going to put instead uh, the heroes I am currently using. So my Valentina, she is only exclusive 3 for now. So it can be better in the future. And if we try that, this is the score I get. 1 billion, so it's even better than using set. Of course it is because she's going to enhance the damage of my team. You can also use your Restore instead, but uh, no, generally I, I love using Restore in another team as you can see right above in my direct damage team and if you try that, this is the score you are gonna get. A bit better than using Valentina. But Valentina is a bleeder and she is designed for this kind of team, but Rista is designed for many different teams. So this is why I love using Rista outside of that team. Villette, not a great hero for the Weathering Coast. Let's try her in the Faction Abyss stage 30. So this is the team I used to clear the stage 30 of the Faction Abyss and inside of it I have Olivia that I can replace her by Villette now because Villette is gonna lower the speed of the boss by 20%. Uh, this is gonna help me but I'm gonna lose a shield, I'm gonna lose the defense up and I'm gonna lose uh, the turn meta increase on my heroes replacing my Olivia by her. So what is better to use a legendary hero exclusive 3 or that epic hero? <laughs> In my opinion, uh, this is a good question, because you are gonna see. This is the first turn, okay, the first wave. I'm gonna protect my heroes thanks to uh, the shield of my set. And now I'm gonna use the ultimate, but you know what? I'm only inflicting wet 2 on them. And so they are gonna use their skills, and so they are gon not gonna have any damage reduction on their skills. And so I'm just gonna die, you are gonna see. Now I use my ultimate and that, now I'm gonna lose one hero. At least if she had one shield, only one shield, even 30% of her max HP as a shield to your heroes, it will help a lot. Or if she had a cold 2 as well, paired with the wet 2, she would be more interesting and useful because 
there. Let's be honest, it's not useful at all. Or an attack down. Why not having an attack down 40% on her? It would help so much. I don't get it. I don't understand why she is that bad after the rework. So let's try to change the team instead of Makin. Let's add that guy just to tank a bit more to see if it is going to work or not. I'm applying the shield. Ultimate with her. Some damage. More damage. And now I have to tank. The seahorse is going to tank for my heroes. And I'm still alive on the first turn. I'm going to heal my heroes. And she is controlled. So she can't even remove buffs to my heroes. But she removes only non-controlled debuffs. <laughs> what is the goal one more time? And I'm going to lose one of my heroes on the second turn maybe. Okay, three of them are dead. So only one remaining. And I'm still alive for now. But I'm on the second wave. Uh, do I have my skills? So I can do that. I'm gonna cleanse. So I don't have the burn anymore, but I can't control them. And so you know what? I am gonna die because of the burn detonations. Okay, I survived thanks to Aether. No, sorry, I meant I survived because of the block debuff I had on all my heroes thanks to Villette. That was a great skill and really, really useful. So let's... And the wave, heal my heroes before. And she has the eight layers, so let's check her damage. Normally she should inflict a lot of damage to them. But I'm not sure though to use that skill directly. Should I kill them now or not? You know what, just to, by curiosity, let's kill them. And that was great damage. For a support, that was good. So only Catherine remaining and now the boss wave. So I have less speed than the boss. So normally I'm going to get one shot. Okay, I'm still alive for now. And he has called to because of the perceived onset. This is really helpful. I'm going to need some more buffs on my heroes. He's going to remove them. So I'm going to keep the shield for now because I already have some buffs. I'm going to use that skill to heal my heroes. I'm going to apply the shield or should I... I, I already have the Ripple 2 thanks to her, and that's gonna help. So basic attack. That skill, I'm gonna heal... No, this is Nirid. I, I thought it was Villette. So basic attack. Am I gonna tank the second ultimate of the boss? Yes, I was able to. And I recovered the Seahorse. But I had Feebleness 2 and I lost my only damage dealer. And that's bad, that's bad. And she is almost dead. How much damage can I do to the boss using her ultimate? Let's check. Yeah, that's not great. Clearly not great. It can do better than that. She can do better. So, <laughs> what do I think about the hero? I think it doesn't matter to try her in the Dwarven Ruins. She is still not a great hero, I mean in late game. She's gonna be interesting in early and mid game to clear higher stages in dungeons to progress through the game, but yeah, this is pretty old, this is pretty old. This is sad, but this is the truth. So let's have a look to Edith now. So this is gonna be my Edith. She has the set of my uh, Jingle Bell, so she has great stats, okay? 55k attack, 100% crit rate, 368% crit damage, and 74% effect hit. I have a Devouring set and a Slay set, and we are gonna check that right after, but before, let's have a look to her kit. On the basic attack, she can apply Wet 2 and Feebleness 1, so normally it should help. This is a damage dealer, and she's gonna apply Feebleness 1, so she's gonna increase her own damage, right? On that skill, she can remove some buffs on enemies and lower their speed by 20%, but it's gonna be super hard to inflict the speed down to on them because you need to target three times in a row the same target using that skill to in to lower the speed by 20 40% instead of 20%. Uh, this is almost never gonna happen. Uh, if you are fighting against a boss, of course it's gonna work. If you have only two enemies in front of you, one of, he one of them only is gonna have the speed down 40%. 
that's not a great skill in my opinion, but at least it, it can remove many buffs on enemies and deal maybe some damage to them, I don't know, we are gonna have to try that. Remember that before she wasn't able to crit at all and that time she can crit on enemies and also she can allow, uh, in increase her own skill damage. So that might be really nice, right? We are gonna figure out that. And she's gonna get some more turn meta increase depending on the uh, crit damage she has over 150%. So I have 368%, so I'm gonna have almost the maximum, so a close to 12%, a bit less. And on the ultimate, 260% attack damage to all enemies, yet 320% in total, uh, with 50% chance to block debuff to block buff them. Okay, so that's not huge. In terms of echo, I'm gonna use the one of Moxie. This is the one I was using on my Jingle Bell, the one that uh, increased the highest, the higher the damage of your hero. In terms of direct damage, I mean, no aura for now because it costs a lot of diamonds and I want to save my diamonds to buy some Miracle Wish in the future and summon some heroes when great heroes are out. So, first, let's have a look to the Weathering Coast and try her in a direct damage team. So this is the team, but I'm gonna replace my jingle bell, my jingle bell by Edith. I have the same set on her, but I don't have any aura. So let's check the damage. <laughs> oh man, oh man. That's so fucking bad. Oh man, this is a direct damage dealer. She has, she had a rework and look at the damage she can do. Is there something wrong with the team? Maybe some of one, one of my hero has more attack than her and so it's not working correctly. Yeah, my Rista. Okay, that's probably the reason. My bad, I have to increase a bit her attack. Now she's gonna have more attack and she has a bit more crit damage, so it should be even better. Okay, so let's retry. It's a bit better. 805 million. Great score. <laughs> oh man. If you want to know, this is the score I can reach. This is the minimum score I get using my Jingle Bell with the same gear on her. Exclusive 3. 3 billion 500 million. The maximum I reached was 4 billion 500 million with her. And I got only 900 million using Edith after her rework. No, 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 this is not a great hero versus bosses at least. So let's try her in the faction abyss to see how does she work versus waves. So I'm gonna replace my bull and put her instead. And let's check. So, I protect my guys that use useless skills with Villette, and now she can play, so I'm gonna use the ultimate. The damage are bad. The damage are so freaking bad. So, Nereed. And now I have to stay alive. And she got one shot. Okay, let's retry and use the other skill that time. So normally I should reduce their speed by 20%. One attack on each, speed down 20% on only one? Or maybe she is lacking... I think she is lacking some effect hit. They have 80% effect resistance and she has... 74% and only 4, yeah, that's only 70% chance to inflict that, so I need way more than that if I wanted to apply. She does bad damage and she needs high effect hit to put only speed down 20%. So what is the goal of using her, in fact? I really thought she could be useful after her rework, but she is still useless in that content. And what about PvP? I want to compare something before. Wizard's Eye, I'm gonna pick the stage 30 and instead of that guy, I'm, go I'm gonna remove her because she increases a lot of the damage of my heroes though. Uh, I'm gonna put, yeah, you know what, let's just try that. 
I want to see the damage of Jilly man, and she has no gear at all. So let's buff my guys and let's use that skill to see the damage. And she is, um, she has a disadvantage over all enemies in front because they are red mark and she's blue. Okay, bad damage because she has no gear at all, but at least she can inflict speed down 40% on the majority of them using only one skill. Yeah, this is the stats of my Gilly man. 50k attack, 80% crit rate, 262% crit damage. It can be way better, but she has a bit more effect hit, but she has 80% chance to reduce the speed by 40% for two turns. 40% speed down on one skill with a legendary hero. That's that's the norm. It should be the norm. I don't understand why she has only a speed down 20% and with only 70% chance. I mean, look, this is an epic hero. This is Shinov. She, she has been released a, a one year ago and a bit more and she has 30, 40, 50% chance to lower the speed of all enemies by 40%. So I don't understand. So now let's have a look to PvP. We are gonna try, you know what, there is only a Sun Wukong 1 exclusive. So I'm gonna replace my Melkyo in the team and we are gonna try her to see if it does something. But she has so bad damage that it might not kill them. Okay, so let's buff her. Red Egg, so she's, she's gonna have more damage. And now, Spotlight, and should I use that skill or the other? I'm gonna use that one, I think this is the best one, otherwise that one is just gonna target all enemies and deal no damage at all. Okay, it procced the apple. So normally they should have died. So let's give her an extra turn and normally, yeah, they are all dead. So when you have broken heroes, apparently it, it helps a lot. But what if we use that team versus that one? This is Bailey. Of course, I have no aura at all on her, so I'm gonna lack a lot of damage. But still. I'm just curious to see her potential. Blue Egg. I am forced to use it to cleanse the imprison on her. Ultimate. I won't even destroy the shield on them. <laughs> that was sure, 100% sure. And I'm gonna die because of that. Maybe I'm gonna have another attack. Or maybe not. I am dead. Oh man. So, I feel disappointed about that. I don't understand what was the goal, the goal of the rework, if they are as bad as before. So I, I really don't know. I, I don't know. They, they worked for nothing, in fact. They worked for nothing. <laughs> they can do what they want, I don't care at the end of the day, but this is just sad to see that they could have been better than before, but in fact, she, the only Villette is a bit better than before, and that Edith just sucks as before <laughs> nothing changed this is this is so funny tell me what you think about that in the comment below and uh, tell me if you decided to summon for that guy and in what content are you using him because in my opinion this is clearly not a must have uh, he is doing the same as elik does so if you already have elik uh, it's enough or maybe if you want to optimize some teams in the championship that guy might help if you already have elik in another team and it might be a great idea to use the other guy with that other speed team with Melkyo, for example, if you want to protect Melkyo from taking debuffs, if you don't have Esther or another hero, who knows? It can be a solution to use the other hero instead. So you won't be able to uh, be controlled. You, you will never be controlled, so at least the new one have some utilities in PvP. So tell me you, what do you think about that in the comment below. Hope you enjoyed the video. If it's the case, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Have a nice day. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.